This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here once again at the trout fishing hole to see if I can get lucky. I got worms, I got power eggs. Let's see what happens. There are a lot of people out here today. I can see five right there. There's a guy in the water right there. Up on the dam, there was about 10 people. That's okay though, I'm over here in my lucky spot. We're gonna start out with a power egg, see if that can get any attention. If not, I got some night crawlers. I can use a little piece of night crawler and see if that'll get any attention. I'm just not sure what to expect today. It's already this busy and it's like 7.45 in the morning. Anyway, let's get started. There's one. Oh, came off. All right, that's a good sign. I had a bite. Oh, look at that. My egg got all turned around. That prevented a good hook set. Let's keep trying though. The current is just so subtle today. I might even have too much weight on here. It's not really moving. I can only get it to drift when I lift up the rod tip. Oh, thought I had a nibble there. I may have stole my bait. We're going to switch it up to Nightcrawler. There we go. Let's try a small piece of worm. So what I'm going to do is downsize my split shot, my pinch on sinker. There we go. Now I got like a BB size on there. The other one just wasn't drifting, right? It was just kind of sitting on the bottom and I wanted to slowly drift along. Let's see if this works any better. This is Charles. We'll hook them in the mouth kayak fishing. And you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Those guys are gone couple people behind me were leaving. I might venture down that way to another spot I like. There's a nibble. Let go. Fish, finally. There we go, got one. Oh, come on, get over here. All right, there we go. Got him on a worm. Nice. Good looking trout here. Maybe, I don't know, 12, 13 incher. Yeah, let's let it go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jumped out of my hands. Oh, there he goes. Squirmed right out of there. At least I got one. That's one. Still got my bait too. Let's get my worm situated. Get it back out there. I got this worm dirt all over my hands. When you're fishing with worms, just be ready to have mud and bits of dirt and stuff on your hands. 
Whew. I'm a bit excited now that I got one. And now that my hands are wet, they're totally freezing. But it's worth it. I finally got a trout. Let's see if we can do it again. There's a nibble. Ooh, they let go. I'm thinking there might be some shiners down here as well. And some of these little taps and nippy little bites I'm feeling are shiners. Fish. There we go. Another trout, I think. Yeah, just a little guy. Holy cow. Fell off the hook. Back in he went. Quick release. Fell off right back into the water. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to count it. That's two. So far, Nightcrawler is winning two to nothing. Although my very first bite and my first fish that got off the hook was on a power egg. Anyway, let's see if we can do it again. My name is Dewey Cash, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, let's try right here. I might need to add more weight. It's looking a little fast, but we'll try what I got. We'll add more if needed. Fish. There we go. There we go, got one. Nice little stalker here. 11, maybe 12 inch. As soon as I came to the new spot, casting my power egg out there, got him. Good looking fish. All right, now let's change it up to some night crawler over here at the fast moving water and see if we can get a bite that way. Here we go. Whoa, was that a bite or a snag? Makes me want to see if I still got my bait. I do. Let's get it back out there. Looks like I had a bite and they tore half my worm off. There we go. There we go. Another fish. Let's see if we can get this one in. Fighting him in the current. Here we go. All right. Another stalker rainbow. A little bit smaller, maybe 10 or 11 inches. Nice bright colors though. Nice and shiny. What is this, fish number four? Good one. Hey, it's Josh from the One Ton Fishing Club. Hi, it's Jared from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, what's up? This is Kyle from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, this is Art from One Ton Fishing Club. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. 
I'm running out of time, but I'm doing okay. Four trout. Come on, just one more. Fish. Wow, feels like a good one. He's out there in the current. Come on. After this one, I'm out of here. Wow, this feels like a good fish. All right. And he just fell off the hook. There he is. Last fish of the day. Another nice stalker rainbow on a night crawler. Beauty. Yeah, let's let him go. Let's see if we can get just one more. Oh, shit, I'm over the tree. Oh, man. I'm up in the tree. Well, it snapped. Do I got anything left? Nope. Luckily, I brought some more hooks with me. Let's tie on a new hook, get another weight on there. I still want to catch one more. Let's make another cast. What the hell? It's hard to leave when you're catching fish. Oh, f up in the tree again. Well, caught the whole tree this time. All right, now it's time to go. <laughs> My secret behind the log spot. All right. Well, what did I catch? Four or five today? I wonder how many of these people caught. This is Mark Pickett from The Fishing Magician. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh, that was a good one. Well, I've been at it for about an hour and a half, and I got what, four or five? I think I got two on power eggs and the rest on night crawlers, and hey, that's all right with me. I think the night crawlers just barely inched out the power eggs today. Both are good baits, but night crawlers were better today. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.